Hello, this is Denver Riddle from Color Grading Central. Continuing on in our looks building section, this video tutorial is about how to create a contextual or a location based look. Looks can be used to suggest and complement the location where a scene is taking place. If the story takes place in multiple locations, the look can be really effective in helping the audience identify where they're at. A perfect example of this is in the movie Traffic, where cool colors were used to represent Ohio and warm colors to represent the deserts of Mexico. Contextual looks can vary widely from suggesting a location, a climate, a certain city, or an interior environment. We'll cover a couple of these. In this first example, these women are seated in a diner. It already has a nice warm look to it. And so that could easily suggest that this diner is in Los Angeles. So there's nothing we'd have to do here to suggest that. But let's say we want to make it look like the diner is in New York City. In TV shows like CSI NY and Law and & Order, they have a cool look associated with them. So we'll duplicate that look by cooling the shot down. Now I've already performed the correction in advance, so I'll toggle that on so you can see the look that we're after. I'll reset these so we can get started. We'll first start in the color tab by cooling down the midtones. That looks cool enough. And we'll add a teensy little bit of blue to the highlights, but not too much as this will suggest the time of day more than it will the location. Okay, but now you can see we have a huge problem on our hands with our skin tones. So what do we do? The adjustment we made here was to the midtones where the skin tones are. And so we have no other way around this other than to perform a secondary isolation adjustment. I won't cover secondary isolation in detail until a later tutorial, but we have no choice here. So we'll have to jump the gun a little bit. I'll first pull a key on her skin tones in a correction three adjustment. Then I'll color correct her skin tones. You could see when we pulled the key that it grabbed other similar colors to her skin tones. So I'll further qualify the key with a shape. I'll adjust the shape a little bit and reduce the softness. And we better not leave her companion out, so I'll add another shape to qualify the key there. And voila, we have our New York City look. Now we do the exact opposite if the scene had a cool look and we wanted a warm Southern Cali look. Okay, let's move on. Let's complement this office scene with a subtle green color cast. Since fluorescent lighting is most commonly used in offices and puts off a subtle green color. Since we're talking about lighting and color temperature, we'll just add a subtle amount of green to the highlights. I like it right there. And then we'll drop a little bit of red from the midtones as there tends to be less red under green lighting. That's it. That fits the office environment. Pretty simple to do. In our last example, let's complement this home interior with a warm color cast since homes use incandescent lighting similar to the color temperature of tungsten. The shot is, is pretty balanced and clinical. So all I have to do to warm it up is push a little bit of orange into the highlights. And that's it. Here's the before and after. It's just a subtle amount, but that's perfect. So there you go. Just in review, looks can suggest a variety of locations, from a cool London look to a warm Sao Paulo, Brazil look, from a cool Arctic tundra look to a warm Saharan desert look, and from a Joe versus a volcano office scene to a romantic candlelit dinner. Looks can be a very powerful tool in suggesting or complementing a location. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching.